Hey, I'm Joel from 12 Spies. I've been playing guitar since I was about 10 years old. I've always been writing riffs and songs since then, and I've been in multiple bands as a guitar player, but never really brought my vocals into the mix until recently. I met James, and uh, he kind of heard my, my songs that I had been holding on to for several years, and uh, it felt natural to, to just kind of form a band. and. Originally, I was just going to do a solo project with instrumental guitar riffs or something, but he was like, oh man, you gotta, you gotta get up there and sing, so here we are. Hi, I'm James. I've been playing drums from an early age. I've got to say my biggest influence and inspiration is probably the great Neil Peart. I met Joel and David previously in a band that we were in. That's when I discovered Joel's solo project, and it was really an online-only thing, and it was called 12 Spies. And he had some good vocals in there, and I recognized the raw talent that was a part of that project. So somehow I convinced him to make that a real band. I knew that we needed a great vocal ear and an amazing singer and bass player as well, and David was really the only choice. Hey, my name is David, and I've been playing bass on and off for the past six years or so. Uh, my musical background is actually in piano and French horn. I picked up bass just out of necessity in a former band. When I was asked by Joel and James to be in 12 Spies, I was super excited because I was already a fan of Joel's online project. You know, I'd heard all his work and all his music and I was really digging it. I did decide that I was gonna pray about it and think on it. And after doing so, I realized like I definitely wanna be in this group. Um, so I joined the band. We as a band so far have been putting new material together. We've been working with content that Joel already had and reworking some stuff. Uh, we put a couple songs out there. We've been playing shows, but moving forward, our goal is to just continue doing that, putting songs out there, getting our material out and playing shows, hopefully a festival one day. Yeah, to just continue having fun.
same place as before It's desperation that's filled this place I'm turning further from all Save me from myself So a lot of the songs are kind of, some of them are kind of like prayers, and some of them are kind of just like life through a Christian lens. And so when I went to name the solo project, I was asking a bunch of buddies what they thought, you know, what, what should we name it? So one of my friends was like, hey, you should name it Kadesh Barnea from the Bible. So I was like, oh, you know, that's pretty good. I wonder, I wonder if you could change it to like Kadesh Spies or something like that, because I was reading in that in that part of the Bible. Then I was kind of like, man, 12 Spies has a ring to it. I wonder I wonder if that's taken. So I looked everywhere on the internet, I'm like, I cannot find a band called 12 Spies. So I was like, that has to be it. You know, and for me, the band really has like a deeper meaning. And, um, you know, at my core, I really feel like you should like and subscribe and follow us on all our social media. So the 12 Spies are mentioned in chapter 13 of the book of Numbers in the Bible. So get this, uh, the nation of Israel, which is God's chosen people, are just outside of the promised land, which is the land of Canaan. And they assemble all the people together and all 12 tribes are there. They choose one man from each tribe. Uh, and these men are chosen to go scout out the land and bring news of what they find there, the 12 spies. So those men go and come back and they return with news that the land indeed is rich and plentiful. It's a land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord has promised. But they did say that there were enemies of Israel in the land, strong men, even giants in the land. Ten of the spies said, there's no way we can take this land. We can't defeat this enemy. But two men get up, Caleb and Joshua, and say, there were giants in the land. There were enemies, but with the Lord, we can be victorious and we can win. So this has application to our lives. You know, we're going to face giants in our lives and obstacles um, that seem to be impossible to overcome. But if we trust in the Lord, he will fight our battles for us and overcome those for us.